<laughs> Hello and thank you so much for joining me. My name is Jill O'Donnell and I'm going to show you some ideas for inking techniques. First one is a die cut I've made using a lovely X-cut die. And to get this to stay in position, I've added some of the Sailor two-way glue to the back of it and let it dry. That then, instead of being a permanent bond, becomes a tacky bond that can be removed. So I'm going to place this onto the paper. And you can see that sticks down really well because when you're doing an inking technique, it's important that you haven't got parts of it moving around or lifting up when you're doing it. So that's beautifully stuck. And I have here some of the Artiste inks. This one is a lovely rich dark blue. This is a metallic denim blue or jean blue. And I'm just gonna tap over the design. And because I'm gonna use the second color on it, I'm just gonna move around a little bit and create some of the parts in a darker blue. It does go on very easily and very beautifully. I think that's enough of the dark blue to get carried away there. That's an easy thing to do. And this one here, which I have decided is definitely my favorite color, this is the aqua. And this is a very pretty lighter blue. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating a background, but a subtle background. And that means that the things that are going on top of it can be a busier card. Whereas if you put lots and lots of colors on the background, you might want to keep the front of the card a little bit more simple. So because these are beautiful pigment inks, they will blend together as well. So where I've gone with the darker blue, I can actually go over with the lighter blue and blend into the color as well. So just a couple of little extra bits to do up there. And we'll be good to go. So to remove that, because <laughs> it's so well stuck now, <laughs> it's not coming off. Come off. To remove that, you can see that beautiful pattern that's been created. And this would look absolutely lovely on a card, but as well as that, look at what's come off the top as well. You can use that either again as another stencil, or you can use that actually on the card front itself as well, because it does look absolutely beautiful. So that's one method, using a proper die cut to do that. Another method is using the positive part of the die cut, which I have here. Again, I've put glue on the back of this. Give that a good press down. I think we can risk that not moving. And this time, I'm going to ink around it. So what this is going to do, I can do in the a smooth method rather than a pouncy method. I'm sure you all have your favourite methods for applying ink and <laughs> give them all names as well. So that's gone around the outside and if you imagine you could put several of these over a card and then when you remove it you have got a beautiful clear circle. If you feel that's a little bit too much you can just gently go back in and soften the difference between the blue and the white. It looks rather pretty. So that's uh, another method, and that is using the positive part that's come out of the die cut. And again, ready inked for you, so you can get away with that. And then another way is to use the negative part of the die cut. So this is a fish, one of the lovely mini dies. If it's a fish, I think it has to be dark orange. So I've got some pigment ink here in dark orange. And you can just fill into the negative part. Remove the tape. And there we have a lovely goldfish. Could uh, do a line of them around your bathroom if you felt like it. And finally, I'm going to use one of the X-Cut self-adhesive stencils. Now these are very clever. You can use them over and over and over again. This one is some lovely geometric shapes. I'm gonna pop that in the center of the card, but this time, rather than have the whole image there, I just want a band. So if I want to do a band or a border on a card. So what I'm gonna do is line that off with a bit of masking tape. Oh, look at that, that's handy. I've got geometric masking tape as well. That was a fluke, I can't claim any um, forward planning on that whatsoever. So I'm just going to be inking in the centre part. So let's do a nice blue in there. 
and then add maybe some of the orange. One thing to do when you're doing this, if you are blending your colours together, be sure that the colour combination that you have is a good one. You don't want to mix maybe red and green because that will make rather a, a horrible mucky brown colour. But with this one, I've just used an orange and blue, which is quite a nice colour combination. I'm just going to remove there and you can see we've just got the complete strip across the centre. And this it might look a bit messy, but it will wipe straight clean or you can wash it with a, a cloth and then that will be usable again and again and again. That's the self-adhesive stencils. So some different methods for using inking techniques and sponges and a great chance to be your own designer of your background paper. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.